is a fast, fast board. <laughs> Welcome to the White Lines at Real Time Reviews. We're down in Cadrona where Dubray is testing out different women's boards from the 2022 range. We're on White Star, we've got a super pipe, a super park, and plenty of terrain at our disposal. It even snowed last night, so there's a little bit of powder. So today we're passing judgment on the Salomon Dance Hall. This is the 152, and Salomon placed this board as a unisex tapered directional board. It's got a lot of classic elements, radial side cut, so really old school, nothing too fancy there, but it is volume shift, so a little bit shorter, a little bit wider. Unisex, you could argue that any board is unisex if it's the right size and flex pattern, but this one, quite stiff, Torsionally, quite soft in its flex pattern, so very, very playful. We've got Jubre riding it. It's just within her normal size of board, and she's got a decent backcountry run to start with. Let's see how she gets on. Nice solid base on it. Flow cheese. Bigger surface. Whee! The ice here is nice. Solomon Dance Hall, it's a unisex board, so it's designed to suit both guys and girls. I think it is a great option for free riding. It's stable, it holds an edge, it can handle big mountain. For me, it's a little bit wider than what I'm used to, but I can handle it. And also, it has a really nice turn shape. It's a progressive side cut, so the turns make a nice slow start and then it finishes strongly. Oh. This is where everyone gets nervous. It's the verdict time with the clipboard of power. Salomon Dance Hall, two laps on it. Salomon Billet as a unisex board that has the agility to turn the ordinary into the extraordinary. What did you think? Well, I would agree. It's um, 
a board that would suit somebody that knows how to ride. So you need to be quite assertive and, and steer it because it just wants to go. It's fast, it's stable, and it just points down the mountain. I, I've actually ridden this one, proof that it can be male and female, and I've ridden this size. To me, it felt like the board was electrocuted. Yeah. It was kind of a live wire, constantly just Very like good. boom, 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 where are we going? Like taming it, I had to tame it, and that was straight off the get-go as soon as I dropped in. What about the width though? Because it is a volume shift board, it's been sort of squashed and made a bit wider. Yeah. Was that an issue? Uh, for me, it was okay, but I did notice it felt slower going from one edge to the other just because it was wider. Um, so yes, I think if it was somebody with small feet, they would be quite heavy off the edges. But for uh, someone like 70 kgs like me, sweet as. And that, that's the interesting thing, like we're slightly different in height, but we're only yeah, a couple yeah. of shoe sizes between us. And you yeah. could use this early season as a pow board, Definitely. and I could use it late season as a slush board. And I've done that with my wife, Sean. Yeah. I, I, I mean, you could argue that you said it earlier, all snowboards are unisex because it's only the graphic that changes, but this feels like it is a middle ground. Yeah, yeah. No, I think you could cross over. I've been um, riding men's boards a little bit and yeah I probably would recommend this to a lady. Okay middle of the road 450 euros this is potentially the couple's quiver killer the Salomon Dance Hall.